Welcome to Shakespeare Full Circle, a journey of a circuitous nature into the mind of the Bard of Avon, or as you become more familiar, Uncle Will. I'm your host, Kari Marshall. A bit of a tricky one today, like attempting to pick up mercury with a fork, but before your hope vanishes into the air, let's have a go. The reason that this is a bit tricky is that the phrase vanished into thin air seems to be a conglomeration or a melding or melting even of four instances in Uncle Will's writings. The origins can be found moving from the city of Verona by way of Venice and the Scottish Highlands and ending on Fantasy Island. Um, actually with Prospero, not Ricardo Montalban. But though Uncle Will is credited with the phrase vanished into thin air, he never actually put the phrase completely together. The beginnings of the idea seem to be explored by Mercutio in Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, as we all know, is besotted, but not with Juliet at the moment. At the beginning of the play, our youthful protagonist is head over heels in love with Rosalind, no relation to our forest traipsing cross-dresser from As You Like It whom, by the way, he has only ever seen and never met. Romeo has been pining and complaining to Mercutio that she even infects his dreams. Mercutio rails against young lovers and, in his most famous speech, says our young lovesick crestfallen Casanova was obviously visited by the mischief-making fairy, Queen Mab, who has taken his reason hostage. Romeo thinks he is talking twaddle. I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begot of nothing but vain fantasy, which is as thin of substance as the air, and more inconstant than the wind. Seven years later, in 1604, Uncle Will would conjure up the term as a form of dismissal in Othello. If you have any music that may not be heard, do it again. But as they say, to hear music, the general does not greatly care. We have none such, sir. Uh... Then put up your pipes and your bag for all away. Uh, go vanish into air. Away! Two years after that, in 1606, William would make an addition to the final phrase with a trip to Scotland. Macbeth and Banquo come upon three witches on the heath who prophesies that Macbeth will encompass the crown and Banquo will father kings. Then they disappear. Whither are they vanished? Into the air, and what seemed corporal melted as breath into the wind. It would be some five years later when his final addition to the phrase would come in the tempest. At the end of the play, having conjured a troop of actors, acrobats, and musicians, our shipwrecked spell-slinger Prospero ends the enchantment with the words, These are actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits, and are melted into air, into thin air. There seems to be something to that for Uncle Will. This idea of losing or lacking substance, a melting into the earth or disappearing into air like smoke. Now, though the phrase thin air would be employed by authors from Milton to Blake, it would be some time later, in April of 1822, in fact, when the edition of Vanished was added in print. An article in the Edinburgh Advisor dealing with the potential for a resolution to political tensions in Eastern Europe, what would later become the Russo-Turkish War. The latest communications make these visions vanish into thin air. Now, it is fair to assume that Uncle Will was not a student of meteorology, and the fact that the barometer wouldn't be invented until 1643, hundreds of miles away in Italy, his understanding of the air thinning at altitude would be dubious at best. But this phrase is now so ingrained in our culture that there has become a shorthand, thanks to the film the usual suspects. And like that, he's gone. And so is today's episode. Well, alas and alack, my friends, that's all we have time for. Join us again next time for another circuitous journey into the mind of Uncle William. I'm Kari Marshall. Farewell until next time. Shakespeare Full Circle is a production of WGTE Public Media. You can learn more and download all episodes at wgte.org slash sfc or wherever you get your podcasts.